All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Mohammed Fathi, uh, sales manager at Atif Riz Company, the sole agent of Anton Par in Egypt and Libya. Uh, today I'm talking about one of the uh, uh, main uh, instruments of Anton Par in their product portfolio, uh, which is related to the sample preparation, which should be done before the uh, elemental analysis of various samples, uh, um, uh, which is the microwave digest digestion. And one of the uh, uh, most recent Anton Parr uh, uh, releases in the sample preparation microwave digestion uh, uh, systems is the MultiWave 5000. And uh, uh, this system is not only uh, um, uh, uh, not only doing the digestion, but also it uh, does other operations as we will see later in next slides. I'd like firstly to introduce the history of Anton Parr in the sample preparation uh, systems, starting from 1989 and uh, ending uh, uh, to the three uh, uh, instruments, uh, the MultiWave uh, uh, 5000, MultiWave 7000, and the MultiWave Go Plus, uh, which is the most recent one. The MultiWave 5000 not only doing the acid digestion, but also do acid leaching, solvent extraction, evaporation, microwave induced oxygen combustion, and sample drying, and also the uh, synthesis. And we will see later uh, some case studies for each uh, of these operations, but uh, uh, we will talk mainly about the uh, acid digestion as it, uh, uh, it's uh, necessary for sample preparation before uh, uh, quantification of the components and the chemical composition of samples uh, by various methods like the GC, ICP, and so on. The cooling procedure for the MultiWave 5000 is really uh, 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 is really uh, interesting because it's uh, rapid cooling, no need for external uh, uh, cooling systems. It's forced air cooling system, and uh, uh, it, the cooling uh, happens in 15 to 20 minutes, and uh, uh, it achieves uh, the standard uh, standards for the safety, um, uh, like safe exhaust of acid vapors after the digest digest digestion reaction and it also supports control of exothermic reactions by drawing off reaction heat and uh, with the smart vent uh, technology uh, uh, it's used for increased protection against corrosion all right uh, one of the most advantages uh, most common advantages of the multi-way 5000 it's uh, the easy handling no need for tools uh, to uh, uh, deal with the vessels and rotors and sensors. Uh, they are really simple and anybody can do it with his hand without any uh, usage of tools and so on. And also the door. Uh, uh, the door is uh, no need to open the door uh, with your hand. It opens automatically after the test uh, has been finished. And uh, uh, two common uh, uh, types of rotors are the HVT and the SVT, and they are they, they are consisting of only three parts to assemble. Uh, and we will see later uh, uh, these parts and how it's easy to be replaced and assembled. We have very powerful software with more than five hundred programs and uh, uh, no need for method development and you just type here a keyword in any for any sample you will find it uh, uh, here in the library which is built in the software and uh, 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 you can also adjust your uh, um, you, you customize your workflow uh, according to your application and you can add to the library and uh, tell us to update the uh, software release. And also I'd like to show you that the screen is a smart and like smartphones and the uh, size of the screen is wide, more than 10 inches, and uh, uh, it's user friendly and very easy to use. 
the communication with the uh, instrument is really easy and can be uh, uh, done at your office. You can control the so the, the uh, everything in the uh, in the instrument uh, from your office. Uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, you see here a light which uh, changing uh, the color according to the state of the instrument. For example, if you see uh, light white light here, it's uh, uh, meaning that the instrument is ready to be used. And if the light is turning red, it means that there is an error that you should uh, uh, see in the instrument uh, because it stopped working. And this feature is called smart light. Uh, we have many and many safety standards, and this is characterized by Anton Power Instruments, is really common for the safety standards, especially the uh, Multiwave 5000. Uh, it's a stable stainless steel door. However, the window is transparent in order for you to see what is happening inside. And also, we have active door lock. The door opens only after a run has uh, uh, finished. And uh, uh, we have uh, a self-releasing action in case of any co uncontrolled overpressure release. Um, uh, we will see later how the overpressure is released from the instrument. And also, uh, uh, we have four interlock switches, microwave irradiation only, if door is closed for safety also, and uh, elaborate sensor technology, as we will see later. Uh, before we talk in detail about the instrument, I'd like to tell you uh, that the Anton Par services and distribution partners are all over the world, are uh, happy to serve you wherever you are. And uh, we, uh, Artifres Company, are responsible for serving Anton Par's customers in Egypt and Libya. And uh, 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 we are responsible for everything uh, uh, beginning from the sales and after sales services. Um, and uh, I think most of you uh, and most of the uh, companies in Egypt and Libya knows uh, our service and uh, our service engineers uh, um, who actively visit you and uh, check if there is any problem in your instrument. Um, I'd like to sum up the features of the MultiWave 5000. Uh, as you see here, the uh, touch screen, it's 10.1 uh, inch. Uh, this is a USB and Ethernet safe release button and exhaust uh, unit to release the uh, gases uh, uh, while uh, doing the uh, sample preparation. And the smart vent detection, also hands-free uh, door mechanism and self-releasing safety door with fail-proof interlock switches and many other uh, uh, features uh, that we have talked about. And let's see in detail the rotors and the vessels. Uh, uh, let's talk about the smart vent uh, technology. Uh, I'm sorry, there's somebody uh, having a problem with uh, the entry. Just one second. All right, we have the smart vent technology for three types of rotors, as you see here, and we have uh, uh, sealed vessels uh, with other kinds of rotors. Uh, um, it's um, uh, according to the application we, uh, and the target temperature, we have to choose the appropriate uh, uh, rotor for our sample. Just a second, I will admit someone. All right. Okay. Smart vent technology. Uh, um, this is an, a short overview about the smart vent technology. Uh, it's easiest handling of reaction, uh, a reliable overpressure release, and automatic releasing. Yeah, no need for uh, uh, for you to. Uh, to release uh, overpressure from the instrument or from the cavity and higher sample amounts uh, um, and higher temperature 
And also I'd like to tell you why uh, uh, Anton Parr's instrument reach a very high temperature. Firstly, that uh, it's closed, uh, uh, closed cavity. And closed cavity uh, characterized by that uh, the uh, temperature, the maximum temperature is not dependent on pressure and not dependent on the boiling point of the acids inside the cavity. And uh, uh, in the open, uh, uh, in the open uh, systems, you have to, uh, you, you have not to uh, exceed the boiling point of the acids uh, in your tests, but in the closed systems, uh, you can reach higher temperatures uh, without any dependence on the pressure inside the, uh, the vessel. And also, we have simultaneous digestion of different samples and samples with different reaction behaviors. Uh, and uh, as I said before, the maximum temperature is no longer dependent on the pressure inside the vessel. I will admit somebody in the event. All right. Okay. So let's start with the first, the first uh, uh, type of the uh, uh, systems or rotors, which is the HV, HVT vessel design. And it has also smart vent technology. Uh, uh, it's easiest handling of reaction vessels, uh, hand tight closure and tool free handling, no need to uh, uh, use tools for the assembly and only three items to handle, no consumable and robust vessel components. Uh, uh, also, uh, um, only few generic methods for all kinds of samples. And I'd like to tell you about two examples of the uh, HVT vessel. We have the HVT 50 and the HVT 80 vessels that are built up of three parts. These three parts that, known, uh, uh, that are tool-free handling, uh, uh, as you see here in the picture, uh, the vessel body and the conical uh, uh, seal and uh, uh, the third part is the vessel cap. These are the three parts that you should uh, uh, handle uh, before the test. When the pressure in the vessel increases to 20 bar, the conical seal plug moves up against the power of the springs included in the screw cap resulting in an open tube through which the overpressure is released. After the decrease of the pressure down below 20 bars, the vessel automatically releases again. And also the integrated cooling grips facilitate the cooling process resulting in short cooling times. This is why the cooling procedure is really fast and the metal spring are not in direct contact uh, uh, with the sample and or reaction solutions, no risk for contaminations. Uh, uh, in your test. And the vessel also can be easily opened and closed without any tool with two turns uh, to tightness. The applications of the HVT uh, are with uh, mostly with the uh, food, environmental samples, agricult agricultural samples, cosmetics and pharmaceutical samples. And because most of you are from the petroleum and the steel uh, uh, and research uh, applications, uh, we are focusing on the other type of the rotor, which is the SVT vessel. It's also con consisting of three components, easy handling, tool-free handling, and uh, uh, the vessel components are robust in order to bear more uh, or higher temperature and uh, 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 more uh, uh, hard samples. As we will see later, what are kind of samples can be used for the SVT vessel and it stands for the smart vent technology. Continuous cooling during the run. This is really important to reduce the material stress and uh, uh, enhances the lifetime of the uh, uh, vessel components. And this is an example of our SVT, the Rotor 20 SVT 50. It has 20 possessions, as you see here in the picture. Each possession is 50 milli milliliters. It's light, very lightweight and compact rotor construction. The smart vent technology, higher sample amount, higher temperature, not dependent on the uh, pressure inside the vessel. The samples with different reactivity in one run. And it has also the smart temp uh, feature uh, uh, because it's really different from the HVT. 
the S the HDT has a smart has a smart the the smart vent and controls the temperature can control the te the internal temperature, but only can measure the out uh, the outer temperature or the outside temperature. But the SVT with this kind of rotors has a smart temp to also measure the internal uh, temperature uh, within the sample without any need of temperature, external temperature sensors. And the shortest overall process time, uh, uh, we will see later in the case studies how fast is uh, the sample is digested and optimized heating and cooling concepts uh, using cooling fans. Uh, this is also, uh, uh, sorry, this is also uh, some accessories for the SVT50. Uh, have disposable glass inserts to speed up the workflow and eliminate time consuming handling steps and also uh, uh, the quartz inserts in case when lowest blank levels are required very small sample quantities can be handled uh, with the multi-wave 5000 with this kinds of uh, uh, inserts and very different kinds of uh, uh, applications can be applicable to the svt technology uh, um, like the petroleum products, polymers, graphite and ores and alloys or demanding uh, chemicals and pharmaceutical uh, uh, samples. Starting with the polymers, we will see a small uh, 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 case study about the total digestion of polymers using the rotor 20 SVT50 uh, by using the Multiwave 5000. Uh, uh, you know uh, that polymers of different molecular structures show very different chemical stability and may require higher digestion temperatures for a complete digestion. For example, the rotor 20 SVT50 in the multi-wave 5000, uh, 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 it provides a smart vent technology at an advanced uh, pressure level and thus allows the control release of the reaction gases such as the, the CO2 and NOx that is generated during the, the, the test, the, during the digestion. And this ensures that higher digestion temperatures can be reached and ensures excellent quality of digestion, even for hard to, di to digest samples. And as you see here, different kinds of po uh, uh, polymers have been uh, uh, gathered with uh, different kinds of uh, the different weights according to the aromatic content inside uh, these samples and we will see here the temperature uh, 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 the temperature graph uh, against the time for the successful samples uh, uh, we will see the method was optimized for a successful digest digestion at reduced loss of liquid and this resulted in a moderate ramp you see here from 90 uh, uh, degree Celsius until 200 and uh, maybe 220 or 230. And this uh, uh, moderate ramp of temperature led to the successful uh, digestion of sample, but also as you see here in this, uh, uh, in this part, it lasted uh, uh, for some time uh, at constant temperature. Uh, and the hold, uh, uh, this hold at 22 degrees Celsius allows venting of generated reaction gases such as a CO2 or NOx at uh, temperatures where loss of acid vapors can be avoided. And also in the final hold at 240, the resistant remainders of organic molecules like the digestion products of aromatic structures are destroyed successfully. And uh, um, uh, as you see here, uh, the moderate ramp uh, is from 90 to 220 uh, degrees Celsius. The reagents used in this case study are 8 milliliter of HNO3 and for SBR and PVC, additionally 1 milliliter of hydrofluoric acid added in the second run. And as you see here, it's uh, uh, if you add all these durations together, it will be very short time uh, uh, compared to the traditional methods of the digestion, uh, as you know. 
And these are the final results of the polymers gathered. And this is the elemental analysis of our samples. And as you see here, uh, uh, the high accuracy and uh, uh, repeatability of the results. Uh, 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 it's a good correlation between the measured results and the certified values. Another case study for petroleum products have been uh, uh, performed using the Rotor 20 SVT50 with the smart vent technology that allows for safe and convenient digestion of reactive petroleum products at elevated temperatures. You also know that these kind of uh, uh, samples are difficult to digest and reactive materials demand sophisticated and fast responding process control with either rapid release of excess reaction gases uh, or reliable pressure increase detection. And this has been achieved by the smart vent technology of the rotor 8NXF100. And you know that in traditional closed vessel acid digestion, the uh, reaction pressure generated by the amount of sample limits the, achieve the achievable temperature. So you cannot exceed uh, 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 some limits in the temperatures. Thus, venting the excess reaction gases in, is a safe and convenient way to overcome this limitation and being able to handle uh, a higher sample uh, amounts. And these are the temperature programs in two steps. The first step, uh, we have used uh, uh, 10 milliliter of HNO3 as a reagent, and the moderate ramp uh, occurs from 90 to 220, as you see here in the graph. And uh, the second step, only necessary if required by the sample composition, uh, incomplete digestion after the first run. You, all, you, you only add one milliliter of HL, uh, HClO4, directly added to the digestion solution of step one. As you know, you find the products like fuels, lubricants or waxes are challenging due to their high reactivity and energy constant content, sorry, but their mostly aliphatic composition allows digestion at around 200 degrees Celsius. However, uh, black products like the uh, marine fuel, fuel oils, and uh, uh, also sometimes crude oils contain higher amount of condensed uh, polycyclic aromatic compounds and require higher uh, temperature for uh, the complete digestion. A well-accepted strategy to heighten the uh, uh, oxidation power is to open and degas the vessel after a first digestion run to add a small amount of additional oxidants and perform a second run, as you see here. And these are the uh, curves and results of the uh, petroleum samples gathered in the case study. And uh, uh, we see different uh, um, uh, exothermic activity uh, uh, for different kinds of samples. Um, and as you see here, the moderate venting at around 150 to 170. And these are the uh, uh, temperature profiles, as you see here. And these are the final results uh, of the case study for the different kind of samples with uh, a very good correlation uh, uh, for each element in the uh, sample. And also another case study for steel and alloys, uh, uh, for standard reference materials based on their properties and relevancy in the steel and metal industry. Uh, uh, these kind of samples have been included in the case study and the reagents that have used are 6 milliliter of HCl and 2 milliliter of HNO3 as a second run. And uh, this is the temperature uh, uh, program and profile for the samples. And uh, I can send you also uh, the full case study for each kind of samples according to your application in order for you to see the details of the uh, 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 samples and the results and conclusion for each case study. And as you see here, the accuracy is really high for each element. Uh, it's uh, 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 exceeding 90%. And I'd like to talk uh, uh, with you about uh, a very uh, uh, robust kind of rotors, which is 8N rotor, its highest digestion quality even for critical samples consists of eight vessels, uh, a unique pressure sensor system, and temperature control on all position uh, uh, with uh, contactless uh, uh, with uh, the sample. 
and uh, closed vessel, which is a unique advantage for volatiles or HF applications. It can reach very high temperature, uh, like 260 and 300 at a uh, high pressure uh, for all kinds of samples. And uh, uh, the first one is used for the ceramics, uh, uh, ore and ash, and the second one is used for petroleum products and coal. Uh, this high performance rotor uh, have a proactive and simultaneous pressure measurement for full reaction control and also self sealing lip type seal for convenient and tool free vessel closure of high pressure vessel. And uh, the applications are mainly on the petroleum uh, samples, lubrication oil, fuel oil, crude oil, residual fuel oil and so on. And uh, uh, this uh, case study included some samples with vanadium, nickel, aluminium, and silicon. And uh, uh, you see here the uh, accuracy is uh, really high with low standard deviation for each uh, test. And when we talk about sensors, uh, 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 let's talk about the temperature sensor as first. And here you see the differences between the HVT, SVT, and the closed vessels. The HVT, the sensor is, uh, uh, is uh, ha, uh, uh, there is a contact between the sensor and the sample here. So it can measure the outside temperature and can only control the internal temperature. But in the SVT technology, it uh, has no contact uh, uh, with the sample. It directly at, uh, touches the sample and uh, uh, the infrared detector can uh, measure the uh, temperature, the internal temperature, not only control it. But when you see here the temperature probe in the closed vessel, it uh, only measure at the base of each reaction vessel. And also Anton Parr supports all kinds of these uh, uh, temperature sensors. The smart temp temperature uh, measurement with the rotor 20 SVT 50. Uh, um, uh, uh, this contactless internal temperature measurement via infrared uh, sensor and its uh, most accurate infrared temperature sensor available in the market. And uh, uh, it's very easy to use, as, as you said, as you have seen before, no handling of sensors required. And uh, uh, also, uh, we have talked about uh, the difference between the HVT and SVT, that the HVT only control the internal temperature, but the SVT have the smart temp uh, technologies that also measure the internal temperature. And here, uh, uh, with uh, different kind of rotors, uh, here the, is the rotor HVT, and here is the SVT, you see here the contact between the sample and uh, the infrared sensor, but here there is no contact and the infrared sensor can measure the temperature, the internal temperature of the sample. And this is a small comparison between the two systems. Uh, um, and Anton Parr uh, produces both systems together, as you see, uh, uh, according to your application and the target temperature required to reach and according also to your kind of samples. Uh, uh, there is an optional P and T sensors, wireless measurement of pressure and or temperature in one reference vessel. Uh, uh, the available sensors are for the rotors 16 and 8 uh, uh, N, and uh, uh, it can measure the pressure and the pressure increase rate also. And the maximum pressure increase rate can be defined. Uh, uh, and uh, also, if limit is exceeded, microwave power is reduced and the vessel cooling increases. Uh, um, and for the smart vent uh, detection, it's available for both HVT and SVT rotors. It's one of the comprehensive safety concepts of the MultiWave 5000. Uh, the, LED, uh, uh, um, the LED here, as you see here, emits blue uh, uh, light and it's de detected by this detector. And the uh, idea is that when a gas flow coming uh, uh, across this system, this, uh, this gas absorbs uh, part of the light and hence the detector uh, uh, can detect less amount of light reaching the uh, uh, detector. 
so that you can uh, control or adjust your uh, uh, system. If the limits of these gases are exceeded, ventilation is increased to draw off these gases outside your system and hence uh, uh, allow you to reach high temperature without any dependence of the pressure inside the vessel. There are special uh, applications. Uh, when we talk about the multi-wave size 5000, we have said before that it's not only responsible for the uh, digestion, but you can also do solvent extraction and it's uh, uh, faster and more reliable than the traditional uh, extraction methods, as you will see later in a case study for polymers. This is a small comparison between, uh, 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 in the principle compared to acid digestion applications between the digestion and solvent extraction. When we talk about digestion, we talk about the analysis of elements. When we talk about the solvent extraction, we deal uh, with compounds, not elements. The reagents in the case of digestion are acids, but are organic solvents in case of extraction. In digestion, we destroy the matrix, but in solvent extraction, we don't destroy the matrix. In digestion, there are byproducts, but in solvent extraction, we should, know, uh, we should uh, not see uh, byproducts. And uh, uh, the digestion, as you know, are used uh, as sample preparation procedure for the ICP, MS, ICP, OES, and A AAS. Uh, however, the solvent extraction are sample preparation for the GC and HPLC uh, chromatography. Let's start with the solvent extraction. Uh, uh, this sealed vessel technique, uh, uh, temperatures above the boiling point of, sol of organic solvent, increased reaction uh, uh, speed. It has 16 position rotor, magnetic steerer for improved recoveries, and passive heating elements and glass filter inserts. As you see here, there is a magnetic steerer uh, to uh, uh, enhance the, um, um, the efficiency of the separation or the extraction. So the multi-wave doing both the digestion and extraction, and we have two different screw caps with seals available, the M and H, and the other type is the solve. The M and H is lip type seal for digestion and the other one for extraction. We use two separate sets of liners to avoid discoloration and cross-contamination uh, in your system and uh, one PT sensor for both applications. And when we talk about this kind of rotor, 20 SVT50, it's used, uh, it uses uh, one vessel for both digestion and extraction. Tool-free handling and has also the smart temp technology and magnetic stirrer, as we said before, and passive heating elements for equal heating rates for all solvents to increase the uh, uh, homogeneity of the temperature inside your system. So when we talk about the uh, um, microwave uh, uh, extraction compared to the soxalate extraction, it's faster than the soxalate traditional extraction. It's uh, lasting for 15 or 30 minutes only. It's higher throughput for uh, 16 or up to 96 samples in, in one run. It has high, higher extraction efficiency. And as you will see later in a case study, how the, uh, uh, the, the uh, extraction is more efficient in case of the microwave extraction uh, uh, compared to the soxalate extraction. And this, uh, uh, this is another um, uh, feature of the multi-wave 5000 is a 24 EVAB accessory, which is suitable for the HVT systems only. And it's used for the replacement of acids after digestion. And this is a technique that uh, is used to, uh, uh, um, uh, to, uh, to deal with this feature. It consists of a vacuum pump and a scrubber uh, uh, outside uh, the system for neutralization of the acid fumes. And uh, um, it begins with heating the sample and withdrawing acids to reduce the volume inside the vessel uh, uh, here. 
and uh, uh, this is a microwave induced oxygen combustion. Uh, um, uh, you know that the oxygen combustion uh, can be faster in digestion. It approximately only 10 minutes for up to eight samples together. And the typical samples that can be used with oxygen combustion are the cool, coke, wood, paper, waste, biological samples, food and feed, polymers, fuels, crude oil, and so on. You can also do with the multi-wave 5000. So it's fast, so you can save your time. Eight samples in parallel at one run, low reagent concentration, no metal parts, reduce risk of contamination during the uh, uh, digestion, no special accessories, expensive PT lined steel bombs required for CL uh, containing samples. And this uh, is uh, also another uh, uh, feature for uh, the uh, uh, multi-wave 5000. Uh, uh, this uh, can also do synthesis, and this is a case study for the senses of um, benzimidazoles, uh, which consists of the uh, midazole uh, uh, part and the benzene. And uh, I can send, if you want uh, uh, this case study, I can send you later. Uh, um, it uses the multi-wave 5000 for uh, this operation with very fast heating rate and reaction rate and higher yields, less byproducts and uh, uh, fully software controlled. And the censuses have occurred at uh, 240 Celsius uh, at uh, only 15 minutes. Um, and also, according to your application, we are happy to support you and we offer uh, free of a charge uh, measuring of your sample in uh, Anton Par in Graz in Austria. So you can send your sample and uh, 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 we will send you the report of uh, uh, the measurement or the sample preparation. And uh, um, uh, this can happen all uh, free of charge. You can contact me and we can uh, handle it together. And uh, uh, now I came to the end of my presentation and uh, thank you very much for joining uh, uh, the presentation. And I'm now uh, really happy to receive your questions. Uh, please, if you have any question, you can type uh, in the chat box or type in the uh, uh, WhatsApp group. So uh, uh, could you please tell if you have any question that I can answer? You can also uh, raise your hand and unmute your microphone and talk. Uh, 